Okay, I'm back. Again. Had a bit of a recording issue. I have no idea why it happened, but it seems to be fine now. Dun dun dun. Or something. So, here we go. Trying to leave. He's gonna stop us. Let me get your way to dress your Pokemon trainer. Who isn't a Pokemon trainer in this world? I thought everybody was. Even the little kids and stuff. But apparently that's not the case. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. Everybody is just dogging you out when you first start off. Everybody's just an ordinary kid. You ain't a Pokemon trainer. You just don't look like it. You're dirty. You're not even dirty or anything. Roam the land and search for talented trainers. Sorry, I'm taking your time. Jeez. That's just kind of harsh. You're looking for talented trainers. Just wasting your time here. I'm just going to keep moving. Even battle me or anything. Okay, cool. Whatever. Just assume things. When I'm a champ, you can come back and growl at my feet. Um, uh, going to throw a Pokemon weak in the wild Pokemon first. It'll be easier to catch if it's been poisoned, burned, or lost sleep. Very true. But pretty much, from my experience, the only one that only ones that matter are paralyzed and pretty much sleep really. Freeze matters a lot, but it's so rare to freeze Pokemon that might as well not even worry about it. So, I generally try to do sleep. It seems to be the most common, easiest way to get uh to capture. So. That's why you do rely on. You won't see me like I'll early I poison to uh not really pre because I poison to capture, but it's only because that's all I had. <laughs> so and I don't think it really does that much to do it. I don't even think it even I'm not sure if that helps. But anyway. Absorb because why not? Actually I probably could do anything else but absorb because absorb is extremely weak right now. But I'm gonna absorb now because I'm gonna get the HP back. Try and keep you to fly to 14 before we get to the first gym. I don't know if that's gonna actually happen. I would like for it to happen. Usually, whatever I want to have happen just isn't in the car. So I'm not gonna like hype myself up for that. Got a lot of experience though from that. Okay, what, is, what do you have next, buddy? You got a C dot. Do I still have poison sting? Or are you gonna use bide? I have poison sting. And you're gonna use bide. We're gonna be good. It'd be nice if it poisoned you. Of course it didn't. And you have hardened. Oh, I don't like you. You want to poison me? You really do. Yay! It worked for once. Oh my God! I didn't know it could work. If you do that, you go ahead and you buy. Just buy your time. I'm just gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna harden. Cause there's literally nothing you can do about this. I'm just gonna harden. You can just do what you do chill out there, have a grand old time, get harden again, you're gonna unleash nothing because, I mean, you have nothing. How much life do you have left? I'm missing one HP, I'm going to absorb you. Do me a favor, don't hit me. Good, there we go. You're dead. Okay, I can, I can work with that. Learn something new, please? Ugh. You're not gonna learn anything until 14, I don't think. If I remember my move, my move list correctly. But you're not gonna learn anything. I think the next thing you're gonna learn is Gust. I think. I don't remember what Butter Beautifly learns. I really don't. And I'm probably still thinking of like black and white. Are you actually gonna fight me? Yeah, you are. Place your bets. Will it be a Magikarp or a Tentacool? I'm betting Magikarp. How many do you have? Just one. Dang. Oh, it's one Magikarp. I knew it would be. Oh, Lord. This is useless. It's super effective, so at least it'll go down in a hurry. Wow. Actually, that took more than I thought it would. Hit him with a splash attack. No? Okay, you can go away. Thanks. Thank you. You probably also noticed that I skipped that grass area. There's a reason for that. Because there's nothing there. Nothing there I want to catch. I'm not even going to waste my time going in there. Because everything there, there's no bugs there. So, I'm going to avoid areas that don't have bugs. Or that don't have stuff that I want to catch. And plus, there's Taylor there. There's Taylor out here. And I really don't want to run into Taylor right now. So, I'm going to play this smart. 
since Beautify is the only thing I have. If I had another Pokemon that was a bug type that I could use right now, I would. But I don't. So I'm not going to. Yeah. Um, I'm not putting myself in that situation. So I'm going to go ahead and avoid that grass for now. So I really just want to make a strong run over past. I want to make a strong run past Rust Boros so I can go over there and get my next Pokemon. Well, my next two are coming up, actually. I'm going to try to get a Cascoon in the forest. Which we're about to go into right here. Once we're done with that, I'm going to go to Rustboro. I'm going to skip the gym for a second. And I'm going to try and get another Pokemon, which we'll see what it is. I'm sure anybody's playing, anyone knows what it is. But if you haven't, you'll see what it is. And it will eventually evolve into what's going to replace Beautifly. But before it does, I'm going to keep it unevolved because it's going to be one of my favorite types to have. Since I have to have bug Pokemon. I'm going to play the system, damn it. Because I can. It's what I do. Lady Cindy wants to battle. Lady Cindy sent out a zigzagoon. Apparently, she doesn't want to battle. <laughs> she sent out a zigzagoon. Um, uh, being kind of a jerk. Let's see. Tackle. Wow. She's gonna full restore, didn't she? Please tell me that you're in close enough in the yellow that she won't use a full restore. Okay, good. You were. Yeah. Think about the lady and the rich boy, or any like rich characters. They tend to have four restores on the deck all the times. I don't know if they have them this early in the game. I'm almost positive they have them this early, this early in the game. They have them. Um, so the best thing to do with them is to either one hit KO their Pokemon or to hit them hard enough that they don't hit them hard enough that they do enough that do enough damage, but at the same time keep their energy in the yellow because as soon as it gets to red, they will full restore. But I don't remember if they do it this early. Though. I don't. I don't think they do it like the second time you fight them or what. I'm almost positive they do it early. All right, so we're here. It's going to be a lot of fighting, because I'm going to run into a Cascoon. If I get lucky, maybe the first thing I run into. Nope. It is a Puchina. And it is going to get tackled so hard. How many tackles I got left? I'm sure I got plenty. 32? You're going to catch at least 3 32. Actually, you're going to catch two of these 32. So, um... Thank you for playing. You may go to sleep now. You may go night-night. Alright. What else is here? Please let it be a Cascoon. This is... Oh, it's a Silcoon. Damn, I got hype. <laughs> it's a Silcoon. Ugh. I want a Cascoon, but it's a Silcoon. Whatever. Actually, should I fight this? It's kind of a waste to fight it. Because it's going to start doing that. Eh, we'll be alright. We're going to do it. It can't attack me. Wild Silcoon and Wild Cascoon don't know anything but hard. That's why generally it's better to raise one of them. Because they will keep their they'll keep their pre-evolution attacks. But I don't want to go through the drama of trying to Oh Shroomish is one of the Pokemon that I almost always raise, so it's really sad that I can't raise this. Yeah, I gotta just kill it. Okay. Actually, it's probably better I knock it out pretty soon because, um. Shroomish, if you let it hang around, it's kinda nasty, actually. But if it wants to just use Absorb on me all day, that's fine. Because, I mean, it's gonna do one damage. I'm, I'm cool with that. You, you keep using Absorb. That's, that's great. You keep doing that, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Yeah, thank you. Eventually, I'll come back and catch some of these, but right now, I just want to waste any Pokeball because I'm going to have to try and catch a Cascoon. Or, yeah, Cascoon, and that's going to be fun. Because if Fall is going to have, like, ridiculous, some kind of ridiculously high capture number. I'm probably not going to waste my time fighting this worm. Because I, I, I gain nothing by fighting this other than a chance of getting poisoned, so. I mean, it won't, it won't give me enough experience. I probably won't one hit kill it because it's level five. And it, it has poison sting. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to get poison right now. So if I can avoid it, I'm avoiding it. There you go. What I want to run into is a cascoon. Someday I will. Not today. That's level six. That's even worse. You know, I'm. I'm going to attempt to catch you. Only because I might get lucky and it might evolve into a casket. So as long as you don't crit it, 
Now watch this. First turn for it. Oh, wow. I didn't. Okay, cool. I'm glad I was wrong. Oh! I'm actually glad that happened, because that would have sucked. I'm going to go back to town. Because I forgot to buy Pokeballs. I didn't have the balls to buy Pokeballs. I'm sorry. That was totally not necessary. Um... It's a male, and I want to name it. You know what? I'm a fighting game guy. I'm gonna name my Pokemon after fighting game characters. So here's the thing. If this thing does actually evolve into a Cascoon, it will stay in the group. What's... What, 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 Impish. I have no idea what that does. Anyway, if it evolves into a Cascoon, it will stay in the group. If I find a Cascoon before it gets a chance to evolve, or it doesn't evolve into a Cascoon, it will be going back in the box. But somebody else will inherit its name. Its name. Blech. Later on, I will rename this Beautifly. I just forgot to name it when I got it, so... Yeah, my fault on that. Um, I forgot. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to name everyone I get. I normally do. I'm so used to not naming Pokemon. I just kind of forgot about it. So, from here on out, anything we catch that is going to be part of the group... I'm not going to name stuff that I'm just going to put in the box for collection, but anything I name that's going to be part of the group, I will, or anything I catch that's going to be part of the group, I will name. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Alright, we got an idea. Here we go. So, what I can do, and the reason I did that, the reason I caught this one is, number one, because like I said, pre-evos of these bug types will keep their moves, so it'd be nice to have one that has poison sting and tackle already rather than having one that just has hardened. Um, but also, stat-wise, it'll be better that way. So now, I'm going to see if I can level it up really quickly without having to go through a bunch of rigmarole and ragamorot. Hang on one second. Had to pause there for a second, but we are good. We're recording again, and I'm going to go up here. I'm going to... I'm not fighting these things in a while, though, because I don't want to run into a Taylor. Taylor right now is our worst enemy, because we're... Our, our little girl here is a bug type trainer. Right, this is the actual trainer. Well, this is good. Actually, this is good. This is good. What level are his Pokemon? If they are level 5 or lower, I'm going to fight them with Wormbull. If not, I'm just going to do the bait and switch technique. He has four of them, so they're probably super low level. God. Tell me you have enough to just take them out of the game. That would be great. This is going to be so boring. Wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'll wait for it to say, like, you have one point left. Sometimes I, I hate that so much. Like, you're so close. You have one more experience point to go. The bar is full, but you just gotta get that one last point. Please, above all hope, be a Cascoon. That would be great. If you could do that for me. That looks like. I can't tell. I don't even want that. I can tell. Yes! Your Jackie has evolved into a Cascoon. That was really bad. I tried to fit that in as soon as I could. Learn Harden. Alright, you are going to get raised. You have proven yourself to me. You became a Cascoon. That's all I asked. Is that you became a Cascoon. And by becoming a Cascoon, you become a vital part of the team. I'm slipping into my Bane voice. It's a very bad accent. But I'll still use it. Alright, so I'm going to go heal this up real quick, get it ready to go, and then we're going to raise it up and then get into a uh, dust tox. Um, you'll probably... I'm debating whether I want to fight a bunch of wild Pokemon and try and catch it up, because I can do that really quickly. We're building a team, though. It's, it's coming together. It's, it's coming together. We get, some, we get some variety in there. Not really. <laughs> We got the two moth bugs of the game, or the moth and the beautiful or butterfly bug of the game, so it's not exactly the greatest thing, but we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make we're gonna make this work. I'm actually used to having do uh, dust tox anyway, because I've uh, I used to raise dust tox all the time going through the game. I, I like dust tox. I like dust tox's design. I like most of the moth Pokemon. It's just a shame that aside from Venomoth, thank God, aside from Venomoth, most of the moth Pokemon suck. 
Hopefully in Generation 6, this new Moth Pokemon isn't completely garbage. It would be nice if there was a second Moth that was kind of good. Like, I had high hope for Mothum, because I really like Mothum designs, but, um, Mothum sucks. So, here you go. Uh, let's see. Alright, so, what can you do in this forest? What can you do here? Oh, hey, look, it's a Silcoon. And so, yeah, I'm going to name everything I'm into from this point on, aside from that first beauty fly, because I might even keep that first beauty fly if I get a good enough group. But, um, uh, I'll try, though. I think I'm going to end up sticking with it for a good while, so, if I get a chance to run into a name raider... Um, I think you went to the name reading like the fourth or fifth time in this game. Anyway, point being, they're going to all be named after fighting game characters. Because why not? I play enough fighting games, right? So, of course, Jackie's Jackie Bryan from Virtual Fighter. Not in handcuff like that. Alright, let's go. You used Harden. That is cold for you used waste of time. You used Harden again. That move is also called further waste of time. You missed a tackle. You're you're in, you're really instilling confidence in me, sir. <laughs> I, I'm really I'm really glad that you decided to miss a freaking tackle. Please poison it. You yeah. know. Please poison it. It would be great for everybody involved if you would just poison this guy. Of course not. I'm not gonna waste time tackling because it's just not gonna. At least if I poison it, it'll die in some times. It would be great if it poisoned it on the last hit, but it won't. It can't do it anyway. The last hit will just decay. I thought there was a Pokemon game. It might have been one of the older ones where you could still get status to face when they got when they were about to just get knocked out. It would still just hit you with it. Okay, we need to fight more Silcoons right now. We need all Silcoons. Every Silcoon we can fight. Oh, look, it's a Shroom, and she's about to go down. Here's going. I didn't mean to tackle. That's actually a bad idea. I'm very lucky there. The thing about Shroomish is it has, uh... Some of them have... What is it called? It's a Pokemon ability. It escapes my brain right now. Anyway, I don't I don't recall what it's, what it's actually called, but pretty much what it does is if you touch them, they have a chance of hitting you with a uh, status effect. I think Shroomish has that. I'm pretty positive Shroomish has that. Like spore or something. I forget. It's either I'm either very right about this, or I'm thinking of Oddish. But I'm almost positive Shroomish has it. Too. Beam, 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 beam. And, I'm not, and I'm not gonna test it and find out because he's gonna get hit by a bunch of poison things. So there you go. All right. So now that I have Cascoon and you've seen this forest. Once again, I'm not going to waste your time or my time by just showing you every single fight. I will come back when something exciting happens or I run into a shiny. Okay, let's be real. That's not going to happen. But I'll come back when something exciting happens. Ha! Um, I do need to catch a zigzag goon, though. While I'm, I don't know why I didn't think about that. I, need to, I should have caught that zigzag goon I ran into a while back. Because I am going to need a HM Slave. Because it's an older game, so I'm gonna need Asian play. Don't, uh, son of a. Of course it did. Why? Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Of course it did. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I have that ability so rarely. I forgot that it exists. Shed skin. Shed skin is actually pretty great. It's a little bit random, but it's pretty awesome. The fact that you just lose a status effect randomly. Like, hey, it's gone. Watch me get poisoned again, though. I love this game. How many poison shots did I shoot? Like, the last, I don't know, three videos? How many times did I get poisoned? Yeah. And then they he did it twice in a row. Poisoned me. It's pretty cool. I like that. That's hot. Late. Alright, because I don't want him to faint, I'm going to go ahead and heal him up. I know about items. I thought I bought items. Well, this was poisoning, so whatever. No. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even say anything about the berry side. Those trees were standing in front of a while back. I didn't even think about those were berry trees. Um... 
quite helpful. And in this game, you can actually grow them, grow them back in uh, those dirt spots. So I can actually plant them here and grow them again and get more berries like the next day or so if I water them. But I don't even have a watering can yet. So it's kind of pointless to plant them right now. Um, I will be planting berries, but I normally don't plant berries until I make it over to uh, the Berry Master's house way later in the game. It's like to have all my berries in like one centralized spot. I don't plant them all around the world. I just plant them in like one area. Because it gets kind of tedious trying to run around at every berry spot that you have and then trying to remember, oh, I planted it here and I planted it here. So I'll just go send them over there. He has like a bunch of rows. I'll just use that, water them all, and then go about my business. So, you probably won't see me replanting a bunch of berries. So, if you like to see somebody heal the world, make it a better place, it probably won't be me. Um, I'm heading back over here now to do some more leveling up. Yep.